So, travel lodge over there, but only TR. Hmm, that's tricky. Anyway, day two, MBO3 2020. The plan, Costa, King's Fee, Barrels, Beer in Hand. <laughs> I was going to say Tiny Rebel. It is a bit Tiny Rebel. Uh, the Hereford Beer House. Only one Tiny Rebel ale left to go. Let's go. So, post Costa's. Um, post, that was a pint of orange juice. Um, discussion about what time the bars open in Wales. Well, some in Cardiff. I think all of Newport. I'm not sure about the Godfrey Morgan. Um, Newport, Philly. Anyway, um, Hopper Doodle Doo, Roosters, 4.3% alcohol by volume. Had it before. Carpet for Mr. Manning. There's the coffee machines. Um, okay. Mmm, tingly, malty. A bit fruity, nicely bitter. A plus and a bit, 2.2. Yeah. Oh, um, Valentine's Day thing. And they're selling the Burns Night stuff off cheap. Life in the UK. I've moved on. So in small jumps, I'm moving closer to the barrels. And barrels being a Y Valley pub. It isn't, however, this is why Valley Bitter, 3.7% alcohol by volume. It's all uh, right, but uh, B plus, and Yates are not taking advantage of the Six Nations. Oh, sorry. Look at that. That is poured to perfection. Cask at its very best. Anyway, um, Blinder. Y Valley Ales, it's a Y Valley Ales traditional pub, which is good. 4.2% alcohol by volume, real wooden flooring, wooden ales, Mr. Man. Creamy, malty, coffee, burnt notes. I'm saying, mmm. And a strong bit of finish. B plus and a bit. I decided against the beer in hand because the weather's on the change. This is better. And the last weighing in 11% alcohol by volume, only available in thirds, which is just as well. Dodge, dip, duck, die, and dulce. Dulce, deluxe, churros, pastry stout probably murdered most of those words, apart from dip. <coughs> oh, coronavirus. Mm, smells really good. Let's use the word a sipper. That's really good, but it... Oh, the alcohol's hidden, but it tastes powerful. Nuts, <laughs> which are nice. Baykeeper, oops, Baykeeper IPA, Anchor Brewing, 7% alcohol by volume. And it's spotting and it's blowy. Hmm, mm. now oh, that is an IPA, that is really bitter. It's a malta nib, but it's really hot forward. I'm going to say... B plus in a bit. Uh, 3.3. Okay, a little cloud water there, the tasting notes on the back, and they are... It opens with reading. It says soft and juicy IPA, a form action brewing company, 6% alcohol by volume. I'm expecting a lot of fruit. Weather, cloudy. I don't think it's raining at the moment. I'm not sure about the wind. 
but people are wrapped up well. There you go. Oh. Smells pretty juicy. Can you smell it juicy? I don't know. Yeah. It is soft and it is juicy. And it is B plus plus from Manchester. This is sour and fruity from Sweden and the weather is well grey. Uh, it's not raining but it's damp out. 3.5% alcohol by volume, little tropic from Dooms. Very fruity, mangoey aroma. Oh gosh, that's untellable. I don't know. Yeah, A minus. That is really, really, really wonderful.